First though, Flagler Beach's iconic pier and dunes took a major hit during Hurricane Ian, and now the city says another expensive issue has reared its head. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Half of the walkovers you used to get to the ocean were destroyed by the storm, meaning it could be harder for you to have a beach day. New Six's Molly Reed talked to the city about what it's going to take to reopen. Well, Flagler Beach is just six miles long, but it had 53 public access walkovers. And now after the storm, just 28 are still standing and replacing the other 25 is going to be another expensive project the city has to add to its list after Ian. One of the most special things about Flagler Beach is our unprecedented access to the Atlantic Ocean. And to get full access back to Flagler Beach's sands, city manager William Whitson says it'll cost about $1.1 million. We're going to ask uh, FEMA for the reimbursement, and uh, we believe it's eligible. That's the hope. Just last week, the city closed its iconic pier due to damage and will begin work to replace it late next year. The dunes will also have to be reinforced as they creep closer to A1A, and Whitson says many walkovers will depend on that, too. We're going to have them built back stronger. Uh, the angles and the escarpments uh, are steeper now, so we have to have some re-engineering done. He hopes to have full access back to the beaches by spring. He's working with federal and state agencies to try and speed that up. Got extra sand I have to have. I have to have engineered plans. I have to have contractors uh, that are available and ready to work. Uh, we have to have funding. And Whitson says they had actually just sent in the last invoice for replacing walkovers after after Irma and Matthew hit years ago, just days before Ian hit. In Flagler Beach, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.